can't breathe. Good afternoon, Dallas ISD students. I'm Coach Ray. With me, I have Coach Mercer and Coach Shanks will be helping me um, today with a um, ab workout. So like we do all the time, we're going to warm up first, then I'll go over the activities that we are doing in the circus, and then we'll get into it. So right now, we're going to start out with um, jogging in place to warm up. Ready? Begin. Man, this hair. And remember when you're jogging, get in place, make sure you stay on your tiptoes. And we're only doing this for 30 seconds and then we'll rotate to the next one. Got background dance, Coach Mercer, you running off on me? <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go to high knees, ready, begin. And if you're having trouble with high knees, you can modify it and just do and step up and alternate legs when you're doing it. All right, stop. Last one. We're going to go. We're going to change up a little bit today and go to jumping jacks. So jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Ready? Begin. Make sure your hands are meeting at the top. You don't have to clap, but make sure they're going all the way over. And Coach Shanks is doing the modified version for us so you can follow her. And myself and Coach Mercer are doing the regular jumping jacks. All right, stop. All right, then we're going to get a little um, stretching in. So we're going to feet together. We're going to go down to our ankles. If you can touch the floor, fine. If not, just go down as far as you can. Ready? Begin. 10 seconds. All right, feet apart. We're gonna start in the middle. You're gonna go down to the middle. You're gonna reach back. All right, slowly come up. We're gonna go down to our left side. You're gonna go down to your left ankle or, it, or as far as down you can go. You should feel a good pull in your hamstring. Make sure that you don't over pull. All right, up, down to the right. Same thing. All right, up. And then we're going to do our last one, which is a sumo squat. We're going to go here. Hey, you know. <laughs> if you can't do the sumo squat, you can come up kind of halfway and modify it here. You just want to get a good pull in your groin and um, your hamstring. All right, relax. We're going to take a quick water break. Then when we come back, we're going to start our app circuit. All right, guys, welcome back from your water break. Remember, at any time, if you feel like you do need to hydrate, stop um, doing the workout and get the amount of water that you need and then pick back up where we are. All right, so we're going to do our ab circuit today. Uh, we're going to start out first with planks. So with planks, you can either do them on your hands or you can do them on your forearms, whichever one is most comfortable um, for you. If you do have a shoulder injury, you can modify the plank as well. So I'm going to show you how to do the first plank. Oh, you were. 
<laughs> All right, so with the planks, you're going to be down on your forearms. Remember, you need to keep your back straight. Um, you can put your toes kind of shoulder width length apart to keep a balance for, uh, for the shoot so that you won't fall over. So again, for the planks, we're going to hold each plank for 20 seconds. And then after the um, plank, we're going to rotate to the next exercise. So Coach Mercer and Coach Shanks will help me with the um, uh, exercise and also the modification for each one. So again, we're going to go down. You can plank again on your forearms or you can plank up on your hands, whichever one you would like or feel more, more comfortable. If you do have a shoulder injury, you can modify like you're doing a normal push-up on your uh, knees, lean forward, and then just plank it here. All right, so we're going to start out with our first plank. For uh, We're going to go ahead and go for 30 seconds, and then we'll rotate. So ready, up. We have Coach Shanks um, doing the modified version, and then Coach Mercer and myself are doing the regular plank. If you do not want to do the forearms, you can come up on your hands and plank this way. Make sure that you do keep your back straight at all times. So Coach Mercer back is straight across, and he's holding that plank. Coach Shanks back is straight, and she's leaning forward for her modified plank. All right, we got 10 seconds, y'all. Hold it. Coach Mercer, you shank, you, uh, you're you shaking on me. It's a good shake. It's a good shake. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys, relax. All right, the next one, um, with the planks, we're going to take it up just one more level. So instead of doing the regular um, planks, we're going to add shoulder taps to them. Again, if you cannot do the um, regular version, you can always modify the planks and also um, insert the shoulder taps with it as well. So we're going to go here. Let's say if we're doing the modified version, we're on our planks. We here, we come up and we do a shoulder tap. Try to keep your body straight when you're doing the shoulder tap. If you are doing the regular version, you're going to be here on your forearms. And you have a shoulder tap here, or you can come up. Most people like doing the shoulder tap with the push-up because it's easier to um, extend up to your shoulder. So whichever one you would prefer, you can do them. They um, all are effective. All right, so we're going to go again for, uh, we're going to do this one for 20 seconds. Like your whole arm up and then tap across. There you go. Yeah. Ready? Begin. Cause Mercer, try to keep your body a little stationary. There you go. Make sure when you are doing planks that you keep your um, abs, um, do not relax your abs, keep them uh, restricted so that you can focus on that core area. You guys are looking good, looking good. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax it out. I'm good with that. I love stuff like that. <laughs> All right, guys, next up is our Russian twist. And then anytime if you feel like your ab area is tight from doing so many consecutive ab workouts, just stretch it out on your own and then pick up um, whenever you are finished with your stretches. All right, so now we're gonna do Russian twist. With the Russian twist, you're going to be seated. Now there's a modified version. You can keep your heels down on the ground and you can just go from right to left or left to right, whichever way you want to start. And then the non-modified version, your feet are going to be up. You can cross them um, and then you can go from side to side with that as well. If you want to add another element to it, you guys can grab a medicine ball. Um, you can grab your sibling maybe and you can hold them. You can go from side to side with your Russian twist. Again, when you are doing your crunches, make sure that you keep your, ab, um, your abs tight so that you can focus on that area. All right, so we're gonna go up, we're going to do, um, we're gonna go ahead and do 10 abs and then left and right is one. Ready, begin. All right, Coach Burson, Coach Shanks were doing the modified version as I was doing the uh, regular version. Once they finish, they can take a uh, second to stretch out their abs, and then we're going to get right back to it. All right, next one. We have the toe touch. I'm not talking about a true leading toe touch because Coach Ray cannot do that. 
We're gonna do a regular ab toe touch. So you're gonna be down on your back. I'll try to do it. Uh, I'll let one of the coaches, cause I got this mic on. So they're gonna be laying down on their back. Feet straight up in the air. If you're like me, you have real tight hamstrings. So it's hard to put your feet straight in the air. So Shanks is doing it way better than I can. And she's just gonna reach up and touch her toes. If you cannot touch your toes, that's fine. Just get as close to your toes as you can. If it's your knees, if it's your shins, you're fine. Just go up as um, much as you can and try to reach your toes. The modified version of this is not touching your toes. You can do your shins or your knees. Are you doing 10? Yeah, you're gonna just do 10. And then we have Paul from behind the camera to come and show out for you guys as he's on his toe touch and his correct V shape. I know he's right, he's short. <laughs> he is the modified version. <laughs> Thank you for making a cameo for us, Paul. We do appreciate it. <laughs> All right, we finished our team. We're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna go to bicycles. Again, this is a circuit and a burnout, so you go back to back to back with these ab exercises. So we're gonna go for our bicycle. We got two more and then we got a uh, water break, guys. Come on, let's push it. So with your bicycle, feet up. You're alternating uh, elbows to knees, so it'll be your left elbow to your right, e right knee, your right elbow to your left knee. And you're alternating, left, right is one, we're going to do 10. Ready, go. And if you have trouble with doing the um, regular bicycle, you can modify with putting one foot on the floor and then just alternating the um, opposite one up at all times. Good job, y'all. All right, heel touches. We did the toe touch, now we're doing the heel touches. So you're gonna be on your back. This is working on our obliques. You're gonna keep your feet together and you're gonna touch your heel. If you cannot reach your heel, go as far as down as you can. So you're gonna go from side to side, keeping the and left and right is one. We have a set of 10 on those. Ready, begin. All right, then after that we have regular crunches. We're gonna go, we're gonna do 20 of those. Uh, for the crunches, you can either have your feet up here if you wanna work more on your lower, release your feet down six inches off the ground, or you can put your um, heels together and reach forward down through the middle and that will target your lower abdomen area. Your upper abs, you can hold your feet up here, down and crunch all the way up to your knees. I'll do the um, lower abdomen crunches. Uh, Coach Mercer, can you do the uh, normal crunches? And then Coach Shanks, can you do the crunch with your feet just on the ground? Yeah, and you reach it out like that, that's perfect. All right, we got ready, uh, begin. All right, that was the end of our circuit. You guys can go ahead and grab a water, uh, water break, take a restroom break, do whatever you need, and then we'll come right back with you guys. All right, welcome back guys from your uh, water break. Hopefully you guys took time to make sure that you are getting the proper hydration that you need for this workout. All right, we're gonna uh, implement one thing that'll be a little bit different from our last um, circuit of abs, and we're going to do five hydrants to help work on our hamstrings, our uh, quads, and we're also gonna focus still on our ab area because you have to keep your um, abs tight while you're doing this exercise. So we're gonna be down on all fours. Kind of like you're doing a modified plank, you wanna keep your back straight, and we're gonna do fire hydrants. So with fire hydrants, you're gonna raise your right leg up, and you're gonna put it back down, but it's not going to be quick like this. You're gonna come up for uh, three seconds, back down two, up for three, back down two. We have a set of 10 on each leg, so we'll rotate uh, once we are finished, and then we will do a quick burnout with it. 
Everybody ready? So we're gonna start our right leg first. Ready? Begin. We have 10. All right, alternate legs on our left side. Ready, begin. All right, go ahead and rest. If you need to stretch it out, you guys can sit back on your heels and pull forward. That'll stretch out your glute area for you at that time. All right, now we're gonna do a burnout. So it's gonna be 15 on each side, but it's going to be up and down really quick. So it'll be like this. We have 15 and then we're gonna alternate sides. So we're gonna start our right leg first. Ready, begin. All right, once you're finished, we're gonna alternate. Feel the burn, feel the burn. All right, we're gonna get with our left leg. Ready, same thing, 15, begin. Oh, you're fine. Ooh, you should be feeling that burn in your glutes. Good job, Coach Shanks. Good job, good job, good job, good job. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back into our abs. So we're gonna start off with the Russian twist. We're gonna be here on our bottoms. Again, modified version. You're here coming from side to side. Regular version, you can hold your feet up and balance like in a V-shape. Some people cross their ankles to help them maintain their balance, whichever one works best for you. All right, we're gonna start, we're going to do um, 10 again, remember left and right equals one. Ready, begin. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and go into the toe touch. Again, toe touch, you're down on your back. Feet straight up in the air. As far as you can get them, again, if you have tight hamstrings like me, you're gonna struggle a little bit. But just push yourself um, just a little bit. So we're gonna go up, we're gonna do toe touches, we're gonna do 10. Mr. Paul didn't wanna, Coach Paul didn't wanna come help us this time. All right, bicycles. Same thing real quick, alternating legs. Again, if you have trouble with keeping your legs up, you can put one foot down and do the alternating that way. So it's gonna be right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. We have 10 of those. Remember, left and right is one. Ready, begin. Remember, when you are doing any type of ab workouts, do not pull up on the back of your neck because that can strain the muscles. So make sure you just, you can hold your hands on the side, you can cross them at your chest, but please do not pull up on your neck. All right, we're gonna jump into our heel touches. From our heel touches, you're flat on the back, your feet are together, and you're twisting down from side to side to work on those obliques and touching your heels. Again, if you cannot touch your heels, that's fine. Get as far, um, as close to your heels as you, as you can. We have 10 again. Remember, left and right is one. Ready, begin. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. All right, and our last one, we're gonna go to crunches. So again, it's regular crunches. This is our last ab workout before our cool down. We're gonna do a couple of bit more. So we're gonna add 30. Regular crunches. You can do the modified version. You can have your feet up, you can have your feet down, whatever makes you comfortable. Just make sure you get that 30 in. Ready, begin. And if some of you guys have taken um, the fitness ground test, you guys do curl ups. If you want to do curl ups that way, you're more than welcome to do so. Coach Mercer is actually doing those now. 
Make sure if you are doing the curl, you keep your fingertips on the ground. Remember, you have 30. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Remember, when you are doing your abs, you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Never hold your breath when you are doing ab workouts or any workouts at all. All right, everybody's done. We're gonna get up on our feet. All right, we're gonna jump back into our stretches. On our last stretch, we just did our lower body, so I'm gonna make sure that I implement our upper body in for our stretches. So we're gonna take our right arm, we're gonna cross our body, and we're gonna grab right behind our elbow and pull it towards us for 12 seconds. All right, alternate arms. That feels good. All right, right arm behind your head, and then you're gonna grab right below your elbow, and then you're gonna pull it towards you. All right, alternate. All right, we're gonna stretch our neck out a little bit. So we're gonna start rotating to our right and we're gonna do um, five uh, few, uh, full circles and then we're gonna go to our left side. Ready, begin. All right, alternate to your left. All right, feet together. We're gonna stretch out those hamstrings. We're gonna go down and touch our toes. 12 seconds. All right, apart, go down to the middle. 12 seconds. All right, to the right. To the left. All right, sumo squat. All right, up, and because we did abs today, we're gonna stretch out our abs really quickly, so we're gonna go down on the mat. You have your hands uh, shoulder width length apart like you're about to do a push-up and then you're just going to elevate your the top portion of your body up off the um, ground and keep your feet on the ground as, as well. So ready, up. If you feel that pull in your abdomen, we're gonna hold that for 12 seconds. All right, now we're gonna do it one more time. Ready, up. All right, down. All right, and back up on your feet. All right, so hopefully you guys have um, implemented um, our good workout that you can do at home, anytime at home. Uh, when we get back to school, you guys can also implement that. Tell your um, PE teachers about it, and you guys can try that out in class. Uh, my name is Coach Ray. I also have Coach Shanks with me, and also Coach Mercer um, that helped me out today. So thank you, a big thank you to them. And also remember to stay safe, stay active, and always stay um, healthy. You guys be safe.